All right, I wanted to make a video and show you the how to format papers guidelines and you'll find this under the course resources and campus support tab and then if you'll just open this document we can go over how to format papers. I just want to say that this document is located in the course resources section because the how to format papers guidelines will be the same throughout each of your essays for this course. So you can reference it again and again and feel confident in your formatting. So we are going to put our best foot forward. You would always want to proofread the essays that you would type for this class and every class and, and use um, proper spelling and grammar and punctuation and remembering that as the educator, you are kind of put to a higher standard because you are setting the standard for your students as a role model, and that includes in your writing. So we will have a title page for every assignment, and I also want to mention that there is a sample paper located below this How to Format Papers guide in the module so that you can also see a live sample of the APA 7th style in action. So we'll put the title of the paper and your name and then EDU 2000, Intro to Teaching. My name is April Kidd and then the date that the assignment is due. Not the date that you complete it or begin it, but the due date. We'll go in the date field. On the next page, you can start your essay with the title centered at the top of the assignment and then you will be writing in paragraph format, indenting each paragraph. Using APA format, you'll also want to make sure that you research and review those APA style guidelines for citing sources. And there's a link right here that takes you to Purdue OWL, which is a great resource and website when dusting off the APA formats. And use Microsoft Word, and it's a free resource that you have as a student, so you can feel confident as you do that. So just the standard Times New Roman 12 point font, double spacing, indenture paragraphs, have a title page, and then go ahead and follow the other format guidelines as you see them in the sample paper as well. Feel free to ask me any questions, but hopefully you feel a little bit more confident walking into this first assignment.